hi to all my starlights mabuhay and welcome to my youtube channel and welcome to another video my name is fern i live and work in london but before anything else please don't forget to subscribe to my channel you can follow me on my instagram and twitter i always upload new videos every wednesdays and saturdays and my youtube channel uh includes in aspects of beauty health fashion luxury and lifestyle and i hope you're all staying at home and always follow what the government advise and today's video is about these four uh, lovely um, bags that I um, that I have and these are the mini bags and what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, what really uh, compare them one by one and what really fits and what really can accommodate in each bag so I have some essential items here in front of me and I'm going to put them in my bag and uh, see what uh, can we uh, how essentials they are and how we be able to compare uh, about the price and also how um, functional uh, they are and how can we be able to um, carry all our, our daily essentials okay so I have a uh, two Louis Vuitton bag so this is the uh, twist uh, PM bag which is in a uh, black uh, patent leather leather and this is on a gold chain so this is I think I bought this bag um, 2017 July and I think the price of this bag is increasing now from 2017 up to now and it has already increased in price I think the when I bought this bag it was I think it cost about 2310 pounds that was 2310 pounds when I bought this bag so it's still uh, um, in a very very gorgeous um, patent leather and this is the twist PM and it comes also in mm size and uh, so we will have to see how I think this bag as you can see it has a curve at the bottom there's no any legs or uh, studs to, pre uh, to protect the bag but it's patent leather so I think it is very durable so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put all my essentials in here in front of me and I'm going to put them one by one and what can it fits for this bag so the way it opens is you have to twist the LV logo so uh, so it's easy to open so it's twist and then twist again so it's an open the bag uh, it's very very functional the only thing the only downside of this is the chain uh, it is very um, it, it goes and it slides easily so as you can see that and if it is in your shoulder this this strap is it just goes um, on my shoulder sometimes it just fill off itself but nevertheless you can hand carry it on your arm on your shoulder uh, you can um, do a double strap and then it just um, shorten the um, the shoulder length or the handle of the bag so what can I do is I'm go just going to put all my essentials in here what I normally carry and what are the things that I uh, think that is very uh, essential uh, for this bag okay so I have my uh, Louis Vuitton um, or Zara wallet or the ZP wallet uh, so I'm going to put that one in that one there um, either you can have it um, um, this way or on the sideways it doesn't matter so I'm just going to have it in um, put it on this way and then I'm going to have my um, this is my key holder so I'm just going to put that one in as well and this is the card holder and the CP wallet so it, it it carries a lot and it still have some uh, space in here so um, you can put all your essentials again so I'm just going to put some of my car keys as well and then also um, so car keys a little bit struggle so and then also some 
uh, lipsticks in there and then I think my phone it will have a bit of a problem so either I can remove my wallet and just leave my uh, my card holder and my um, and my car key and then also my key holder and I'm just gonna put my um, my phone so there is a little bit struggle in there but as you can see uh, it is still gonna fit and it's closed very well so there you go so there's not any struggle and it's very very structured bag but once you put your items on it it's a little bit uh, quite heavy now so but as I said it's easy to to unlock and it's easy to lock so it's just twist so it just come from the uh, from its name uh, because it's easily uh, twist and turn so that's the, the this is the um, LB uh, twist bag and also either if I have to put your eyeglasses or sunglasses there is a little bit struggle now so by either way you can always play around what are the items that you can put in your bag and I haven't put yet my my compact uh, mirror or my pressed powder from Chanel so I'm just gonna leave that one there and these are the items that I managed to put in my bag so it, it carry um, a bit more um, uh, for your essentials so uh, the most important thing is you have your wallet you have your car keys you have your key holder and then plus you can have your uh, you can minimize uh, carrying some of your uh, cards then you can put in your card holder in order for you to fit all the things in there's no any a uh, zipper inside I'm just going to show it to you uh, starlight so there is, is a plain uh, sort of like micro microfiber sorry about the noise from the chain so it's just a microfiber uh, it's can be focused in there there you go and it is a very very good bag but it's uh, is and it's very very structured so and it's also easy to clean so that is one of the good side of this bag it's easy to clean so if you want to purchase it i really um recommend this bag uh for you uh if you want if you are a first time buyer for, for lv and this is a good bag because you can have it uh crossbody is a very very uh, good in crossbody it gives you a good good size and a good room for it and also you can have it on your shoulders so it has its uh, functionality and practicality of this bag okay so this is my first review of this um, LB twist PM bag and it cost 2310 that was way back 2017 okay my second bag is this is the Alma BB and this is the limited edition uh, blooming flower when I bought it this one it was on November 2016 and they have loads of Alma BB now and this is my one and only Alma BB and it is in um, sort of like burgundy brown color and it is there is a name of this color so I cannot remember the color of this one but nevertheless this is a limited edition of uh, Low Vuitton Alma flowering I think it's Alma flower blooming is the name of this bag and as you can see this uh, you can see the front of the bag it's gorgeous so it uh, that's why it names the flower blooming uh, Alma BB and it is the limited edition this was released 2016 and when I bought this one it was November and it was it cost about 1510 pounds this is uh, 15 uh, 1500 1510 pounds when I bought this one so it is in patent leather also and it's easy to clean um, and um, it has also uh, the, 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 the only downside of this is the shoulder strap is not able to adjust okay so uh, for me I don't have any problem my I'm I'm uh, I'm five seven and a half inches tall and it it really sits on my waist area so uh, it is a very good um, length 
of the shoulder strap and the the also good side is the strap is removable you can easily remove and then also the handle is very good one so it's easy to to carry either on your handheld on your elbow on your arm and on your shoulder it has a good functionality and practicality of this bag and also the shape of it as you can see it will fit a lot so for those who want to uh, purchase their uh, first bag uh, i really highly recommend the lb uh, alma bb bag any of this uh, design any of their um uh, the monogram their uh, imprint leather um all of this or their ep epi leather bag it is a very good and durable and it is really structured you don't need um you don't need an inserts or an organizer of this for me i don't use any or uh, organizer for my alba alma bb bag because it is very uh, structured and you can really see all your things are essential the structure of this bag as you can see it will fit a lot okay so it's here it's microfiber there's not any more uh, zipper inside and uh, it's just only a blank and it has also it would all your items even though I said you don't need um, an inserts an organizer because there is a small side that will prevent all your things from falling over so it has it is has a good uh, practicality and functionality of this bag so if I have to put all my essentials all, all my wallets and the zippy coin wallet it's easy to put all in and also my card holder my card keys and also my lipsticks in there uh, my lip balm uh, my card holder I'm just throwing everything else um, in my bag and it's and even my phone and it fits a lot see and then it, you, it can easily be closed. It can close easily and it still hold its shape. See, that's how structured is this bag is. So as I said, if um, they come up with uh, Alma BB in front and I think it's on cher cherry red or in black. And those, um, the only thing I didn't bought them, the black I was looking, I did look for the bag uh, for the Alma BB PM and it was and also in mm and the only downside of that is it's just lost is it is structured the one that i really really recommend is either the epi leather for the alma bb and it really really very structured bag and it is very very durable for the um especially if you are it comes in a green color now a uh, green uh, I think in black and in red and it comes in a different color so they, they always um, uh, putting some different colors and um, in their uh, collections every year gross collection uh, summer collection uh, winter fall collection so they always uh, make and this is one of their iconic bags so I highly recommend if those uh, you want to purchase their first bag I really recommend for the almond bb2 uh one of their uh put on their list or one of their first purchase and it won't um you won't go wrong with this so uh and it's a very very good bag and it holds a lot see um it is you can carry you can uh, use it on your daily bag uh, for going shopping every day and also you can um use this whenever uh for your uh, casual for your formal for your informal events so it's a very good um, uh, bag and it comes also with this uh, gold um, uh, padlock and that is a signature of the the LV and then also they have their key in here and I said it's very practical bag and easy to clean for the patent leather Okay, so this is my second um, um, review or the second uh, bag that I reviewed today and I'm just going to remove all my essentials in here and then I'm going to review my two next bags which are the Chanel bag okay so it's very good one 
so highly recommend for those who want to buy their first uh, luxury bag uh, for LV okay iconic bag uh, from uh, Louis Vuitton okay and then the next one is also it's becoming more iconic now is the uh, Chanel Coco um, flap handle bag in a small uh, size so um, this is I have this one in medium size it comes also in large size so I have this one in black I have I have black um, in medium and I have a small and this one is my red and this is the collection 2019 and this is uh, is very as when you say Chanel it's very expensive so I bought this one July 2019 and the cost of this bag is 2920 pounds that is 2920 pounds that's how expensive is the Chanel is okay also it comes in a um, uh, handle in here which is a permanent it doesn't uh, fold back or uh, fold down so it's a permanent handle but the chain is a little bit um, it's a little bit shorter uh, it, it is okay for me to to have it only on my shoulder um, to carry but if it if it is crossbody I can't crossbody this bag definitely no no so but also the good one is you can uh, this um, handle or, or the strap is easy to remove so you can remove this one if you don't want it and put it inside your bag or inside the uh, the, the, the bag itself or you can just um, handheld carry or elbow carry or uh, your arm carry for this it's easy to to carry as well so and also there is a small packet at the back and it is in red uh, 2019 collection and it is on the um, the um, caviar leather so uh, so I like in caviar leather because uh, it's easy to clean and the functionality and the practicality of the leather for the caviar is I really like the most okay so this is I removed the strap this is how it goes uh, look like now and what you can see is also you can it is in gold or uh, gold uh, CC logo gold uh, tone color and also in this uh, eyelid here it, it is written with all the Chanel so if I can focus that you can see all the name uh, that is really engraved in this uh, little sort of like locket or something okay so um, so there is um, there is a divider in here and also the inside is not leather but the inside of it is like a micro mic, microfiber lining so it has a divider and in the middle also there is a little uh, divider in there that you can really see um, see as you can see that okay so uh, it, it, it fits a lot as well so we will have to try what really fits into uh, this bag same items same of my, oh, my essential that I usually uh, bring uh, I haven't put my uh, this one my sunglasses can go on the Alma BB definitely so I will have to put my wallet as I said if you don't want to put to carry all your wallet either you can uh, buy an LV um, um, card holder or any of the Dior or Chanel card holder to minimize uh, all your essentials that you can put but there is still an essentials to carry all your cards okay so I, I will put my my car keys first okay and then also my uh, my phone of course um, and then also my key holder I'm gonna put that one in and then also let me arrange this one okay because it's kind of a bit like awkward in the Alma BB it's got plenty of room so you can just um, throw all your uh, things in there but in here you need to maneuver them a little bit uh, to give some extra extra room for all your things and also here um, okay I have my card holder and 
and also I'm just going to put my okay my my wallet in here um, there is a little bit struggle now okay it's in there so I managed to put my my wallet inside there and then my card key holder in here somewhere here just gonna put at the back okay it's in there it sits very well and then also maybe my phone of course my phone should be here in the front and then also my lipstick and then my lip balm and that's it okay so it crawl uh, it can crawl uh, you can close it easily there you go so you got all your essentials in in it you you might i managed to put all my essentials okay so it's there so it's easy to to close there's no, there's not any struggle when i close it there's no any bulkiness or it's also a structured bag so i don't recommend for me personally i don't recommend to have an inserts for this bag because there's not any room for the any inserts so if you are a fan of using an inserts for this small bag i recommend not to uh, because this is more a structured bag now okay so this is the uh, coco uh, handle flap uh, in a in a small size and it is really it fits very well as well and the practicality and the durability and the functionality of this bag is also very good is also good uh, but um, the price itself is the only very very expensive when you are talking about Chanel bag so but there you go so this is a very good bag as well so it can carry your essentials and especially your phone so i'm just going to remove what i put in my bag so my phone one and my also my wallet i said i said you can minimize your wallet you can downsize your wallet and also you can carry as much card uh, holder if you want to and this is a little bit bulky for my for me uh and also my lipstick and my lip balm in there and then also my car key and my card hold uh, my key holder and the last and also my uh, my car key and then also my card holder so it fits a lot so and also the functionality of this bag is very good but it's very expensive compared to the LV twist um, LV twist uh, PM and then also the the um, the Alma BB so this is the bag um, the cocoa flap handle okay the last but not the least is another Chanel bag which is this beauty here it it is a black patent leather and it is the mini rectangular bag this is also a very expensive bag it costs uh, meet and bought this bag 2330 pounds that is 2330 pounds that is when i bought this one this is march 2018 that is march 2018 it is 2330 pounds and this is the mini uh, rectangular flap bag in patent leather it is a beauty it is a very very good uh, bag and it is in a gold i think it is a light tone gold uh hardware and uh, you can see okay um this of course for all of you for all my uh, subscriber for all my viewers of course you can sh uh, shoulder carry you can cross body of this yes it's very good to cross body in his it uh, sits very good uh with my height with my frame and it sits very well on my within my hips my hips and it's very good one and it's easy also to uh to open and it's easy to clean so it comes also in a different leather so you can have the caviar you can have also the lambskin and also they come always in a seasonal or different color uh on every collections for chanel so everybody um 
uh, can buy that and also during the the summer season or the pre-summer season collection they always have a very vibrant color so i have my inserts with me because it's not that too structured bag it's a semi-structured bag even though it's patent leather but it is a semi-structured bag i would say but if you have to buy if you have to buy a caviar leather so that is a very good one because the caviar leather is more structured than this uh, this patent leather so it holds its shape because of my uh, samorga uh, this is my samorga insert as well so hello um hello hi shout out to samorga so this is my samorga for my rectangular uh, bag okay so this is the one in here and it's all the inside of it is all in patent leather and it is lambskin so this is a very soft buttery kind of uh, leather so inside it's the same so it's all black inside and it's all leather so just be careful because this one in here is very very uh sensitive and it's because it's um it's not caviar it's the proper proper leather okay so this is very expensive bag compared to my uh also to my coco flap handle a small size bag it's very very expensive so let us see what can fit in there without my inserts without the inserts of this so i just remove it so i'm just going to put what is uh, can be um, put in my mini rectangular Chanel bag okay so uh, there will be a problem if I have to put my my um, my uh, coin or my purse on that side so I'm just going to put it on this way of course my card holder and then my card uh, my car keys and then uh, next one is my lipstick in there and then my phone i think i will have to struggle with my phone oh is that no it's okay so it's there it fits very well so it fits very well with my uh with this how you will have to uh put that one there so i have my car keys on this side my phone in here my wallet in here and my card holder in here and my lipstick in here and also my lip balm is already in there so and then i'm going to struggle putting up my um key holder so what i'm going to do is i said is you can take some of your keys in there and put it inside but i'm just gonna try to put in there so it, it it won't fit in there so this one here so there you go it's very good but you cannot uh for me to compare this one uh mini rectangle bag to this one this one fits a lot um this is uh, a little bit expensive this is more expensive this is 2900 and this is 2300 pounds so and this one uh fits a lot compared to this one okay but this is the most uh this uh chanel mini flap is also the iconic uh bag or the iconic design of chanel so this is my um review for the mini rectangular bag okay so so to summarize uh with my review of this bag how uh practical are they so i'm just going to uh judge them if uh for my uh the way i use them the way how practical functional um this bag so i'm going to go with this one of course my the alma bb is the number one and then that is my uh number one choice also the price and then the functionality the practicality of this bag is very very good okay and on also my second one is this one the chanel uh, cocoa flap handle because the only thing uh, that I went for this to, to compare to the twist PM this one is the the handle of this is sometimes is a little bit annoying so it you cannot even detach 
this is not detachable okay so this is a very good uh, size bag but this one is a little bit the downside of the twist pm but it's a very good uh, bag as well so number one number two because um the shoulder strap is easily been removed number three and my last is this one here the uh, chanel uh, mini rectangular bag so it's very pricey it's uh, iconic and uh, but uh, the it, it uh, can carry very little compared to this so number one number two number three and my last is this uh, coco um, this is the chanel mini uh, rectangular bag okay so uh, that's all my starlights that's all my review for all my bags I hope you've learned something, uh, you got something uh, interesting when you uh, like to purchase your bag. Uh, and then until then, please uh, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and always stay at home uh, to contain and prevent the spread of the COVID-19 viruses and always keep in touch with your family. Okay, this is Fern Star London. Until then, goodbye.